Russia will expand sanitary belts in Ukraine. Medvedev made new announcements about occupation. Ukraine would be wise to accept Russian President Vladimir Putin's peace proposal. Otherwise, Russian troops will press on and make life even more difficult for Kyiv. Russian Security Council Deputy Chairman Dmitry Medvedev said, Frankly speaking, I think that the president has said everything. I mean that the next peace proposal Russia makes will be worse for the Ukrainian authorities, no matter how we treat them. Now they have the opportunity to consider Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin's peace proposal and at least try to make peace and end this part of the conflict, he told reporters. Otherwise, according to Medvedev, the Russian offensive will continue and it will be difficult to say where the lines of the buffer zone that Russian President Vladimir Putin mentioned will be. It's very likely that all of this will not work to the benefit of the current Ukrainian authorities. So they have to hurry while they still can, he added. Medvedev explained that if the conflict continues and the Russian armed forces further advance, the sanitary belt will continue to expand. However, according to the official, Kiev has already responded with a refusal at the conference in Switzerland, rejecting any proposals from the outset, taking the discussion back to the very beginning. In vain. So it will be worse from now on, he concluded. It is worth recalling that earlier State Duma speaker Vyacheslav Volodin stated that some Ukrainian people's deputies are discussing the proposal of the Russian president. However, the deputy chairman of the Russian Security Council expressed confidence that there are no forces in the Verkhovna Rada today that could support Vladimir Putin's peaceful formula since the authorities in Ukraine are under complete control of the West. On June the 14th, at a meeting with Russian diplomats, Russian President Vladimir Putin made new peace proposals for resolving the conflict in Ukraine. These include recognizing the status of Crimea, the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics, and the Zaporozhye and Kherson regions as part of Russia consolidating Ukraine non-aligned and nuclear status, its demilitarization and denazification, and the lifting of anti-Russian sanctions, the Ukrainian side rejected the initiative. The Russian leadership takes more care of the equipment, because it is expensive, and it throws soldiers at the meat storms, so the situation in Volchensk has turned into an infantry battle, reports Forbes. The publication notes that a little more than a month after the beginning of the Russian offensive on Kharkiv region, the battlefield in Volchensk and around it became extremely dangerous for Russian armored vehicles. Therefore, only the Russian infantry goes into battle and dies in colossal numbers as a result of the successful work of Ukrainian drones and artillery. Unfortunately, this bloodshed does not herald the inevitable end of a wide war. Every month, the Kremlin recruits and conducts superficial training of about 30,000 new soldiers, just enough to have such large losses every month. Therefore, even when Russians die in shocking numbers in Volchensk and other cities, the Russian army continues to replenish existing divisions and even form new ones, the article says. Thus, the operator of the drone of the Ukrainian Marines from the 82nd Amphibious Assault Brigade, which is now located in Volchensk, said that despite the difficult situation for the invaders, they are preparing new forces for future offensives, and the number of dead and wounded is not an indicator for the Russian Federation. He added that today Volchensk is a killing field for Russian infantry. According to him, they have armored vehicles that are ideal for fighting in the city, but they don't use them. In fact, this has a distorted meaning, especially for Russian commanders who do not value the lives of their soldiers very much, and put armored vehicles first, the publication noted. In the material, they recalled that during the full-scale war, the Russian military lost about 4,000 armored personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles. According to analysts, this is about 150 units per month. At the same time, the losses of Ukraine are significantly less about 1,000 BTRs and BMPs since February 24, 2022. This is approximately 30 units of equipment per month. Thank you.